Peru channel. It is January 31st, 2017. Once again, I'm uncovering some more evidence that has just been published today. Solar wind blasting Earth's oxygen onto the moon's surface. Okay, well, what does this have to do with Planet X, Nibiru, the Nemesis solar system? Well, once again, folks, you are starting to see more and more planetary scientific information that they are leaking out. And it is my belief that they're trying to make excuses for what is happening. Let's get into the information. Published today, solar wind is blasting Earth's oxygen onto the surface of the moon, seeding the moon with the ingredients of life. Yeah, I don't think so. But anyways, this article and the reason why I'm showing you this is because once again, this has everything to do with our magnetosphere, the protection of our planet from solar winds and solar radiation, which is increasing every tick of the clock. The article states, we all know that there is no air to breathe on the moon, but new evidence suggests that the lunar surface is continually being showered by oxygen, escaping Earth, and may have been for billions of years. Now, they always have to throw that billions of years. Now, let's be realistic here, folks. I don't care how smart these scientists are. They, they are not going to tell us anything about what happened billions of years ago. And the same applies for putting a man on the moon. And that is something that I personally don't believe in. I do not believe that a human being from this planet ever stepped foot on that little moon because the radiation levels are so high. And going back to the late 60s, I don't think the technology was there to protect a human life while standing on the moon's surface. But then again, that's my opinion. Now, as of lately, there's been some information coming out about taking a flight in a passenger plane. How much radiation have the pilots and the passengers experiencing? Why are they all of a sudden worried about it now? The articles are coming out. I've read several. It further states that scientists have discovered that oxygen ions from the Earth's atmosphere are transported to the moon once a month. Special delivery. During a five-day window, when the lunar satellite passes through our planet's protective magnetosphere. In this time, the moon passes behind Earth, getting a short reprieve from the blast of the solar wind. And it's sprinkled with a stream of material fleeing the earth. Wow, they make it sound so, they make it sound so good. Anyways, folks, the bottom line is they're talking about in this article how they were able to get some samples from the moon. And this was not samples that the American astronauts brought back. These were samples from the Japanese and their craft that orbited the moon for several years, gaining some information, taking in some data, and they brought back the samples. The samples were analyzed, and wow, they're finding that the solar winds are blasting the Earth's oxygen onto the moon. And we're just going to skip through all the boring stuff. And here is the illustration. Okay. You have the sun. You have the earth. And here is the artist's rendition of our magnetosphere. That is supposed to buffer the solar winds away from our planet. Therefore, allowing life to thrive. Whenever the moon moves behind the earth, it is now encapsulated within the magnetosphere. And I guess the green hue that you see here is the oxygen that is being taken away by the solar winds 
and embedded into the surface of the moon. Wow. So now, all of a sudden, under all of these critical situations that our planet is going under, they're coming out with, there's oxygen in the soil samples on the moon. And the cause is probably, and more than likely, the heavy solar winds. What's causing all of these high-speed solar winds? Well, naturally, it's an occurrence that we go through every day, and we have been since the beginning of time. What is causing the increase? Well, we can look at the increase right now. This is our sun. This is our star. As you can see, the massive, massive coronal hole that has basically ripped open the sun and exposing it and exposing our planet to these high solar winds, highly radiated and impacting the earth on a daily basis. But does anyone care? Well, you should. If by any reason that you're experiencing some joint pain, muscle pain, even psychological issues, high anxiety, depression, gastrointernal problems with your digestive system, folks, I'm telling you, these are some very serious situations that our planet is going through. And they're not giving you the truth. These coronal holes are massive. And really, who cares about oxygen in the dirt on the moon? But what they're trying to tell you is that, very simply, our magnetosphere is being destroyed by what is happening. It is my personal opinion that the brown dwarf, part of the nemesis solar system, planet X, it is interacting with the sun and it is creating major problems. And before too long, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to start to feel the effects physically and mentally if you haven't felt them already. I'll provide you with a link to the information about the oxygen on the surface of the moon. Like we don't have bigger issues to worry about right now. But they're leading into information. They're leaking it out slowly but surely. It's incredible. But in all honesty, the solar winds that are buffering our planet on a daily basis, exceeding 1.5 million miles per hour, destroying our magnetosphere, and then they're censoring the information. We cannot see the scientific information anymore because of January 25th, 2017, they took it away. They don't want us to see it. And folks, if we undergo another magnetosphere reversal we are in big trouble if we are facing a coronal hole and solar wind speeds exceeding 1.5 million miles an hour very serious situations coming up each and every day folks wake up open up your eyes what i'm simply saying is we have to be very careful about the information that's coming out. They're gonna leak information out little by little, but the information that they're leaking out, it's not gonna do us any good, not at this time. It is not time to be scared, it's time to be prepared. Thank you for watching the Nibiru channel. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 31st, 2017. Once again, I'm uncovering some more evidence that has just been published today. Solar wind blasting Earth's oxygen onto the moon's surface. 
Okay, well, what does this have to do with Planet X, Nibiru, the Nemesis solar system? Well, once again, folks, you are starting to see more and more planetary scientific information that they are leaking out. And it is my belief that they're trying to make excuses for what is happening. Let's get into the information. Published today, solar wind is blasting Earth's oxygen onto the surface of the moon, seeding the moon with the ingredients of life. Yeah, I don't think so. But anyways, this article and the reason why I'm showing you this is because once again, this has everything to do with our magnetosphere, the protection of our planet from solar winds and solar radiation, which is increasing every tick of the clock. The article states, 